Hey everyone. Someone asked about how I do my super macro photography, and so I thought I'd talk a little bit about the setup today. For some stuff, uh, I use this, which is just a microscope objective uh, put onto a bunch of adapters, and then this goes right onto the camera. So this is a micro four thirds to Nikon adapter, and then this side is a thing that I made from a Nikon lens that died, and I glued a washer in there, and then um, machined a couple pieces of plastic for it. So this piece just comes off like that, and you can actually slide this around. It's meant to be sort of a friction fit here, so you can control the uh, the distance from the lens to the to the camera. One thing that's cool to remember is that the amount of magnification you get is dependent only on the distance, or the ratio of distances from the lens to the image plane and the lens to the object. So for most typical photography, I mean, if you're taking a picture of a mountain the lens is much closer to the focal plane than it is to the mountain, so you actually have negative magnification there. In a microscope, it's the other way around, where the lens is very close to the object, but relatively far away from the image plane. So by moving the camera uh, relative to where the microscope objective is, you can actually get different levels of magnification with the same objective. So what I do on my microscope is just unscrew the eyepiece, because we don't need uh, the eyepiece to make an image on the on the focal plane. So what's happening here is the uh, microscope objective is already forming a real image up here. So if we just put the camera right here, then everything works and we can control the zoom level or control the magnification level just by sort of fine-tuning the position of the camera. So to use this, all I do is just simply place that on there and the camera is attached here. I can't show it to you because I'm <laughs> using this camera to shoot the video right now. And then you even have a slight amount of, of adjustment here to get the image centered and, and oriented just the way you like. One problem is that at really high magnification levels, the depth of field is quite narrow. So certainly you've seen uh, pictures taken through a microscope where not very much is in focus because um, that's how the optics sort of work out. And to get around this, what we can do is a technique called focus stacking. So the idea is that you uh, focus at the topmost part of your object and take a picture and then rack this down a little bit to focus a little further down and then take another picture and keep going all the way down to the bottom of your image. So you'll end up with something like 10 or 20 images for your average setup kind of like this. And then you use software to combine all the sharp parts of the images into one nice image. So now Photoshop actually has this capability built in. Uh, but before that, or if you don't have Photoshop, there's uh, various free tools that do it and I'll put a link in the description. One of the tools that I've used in the past is called Combine ZM, and it has all kinds of different parameters if you're a, a tuner. There's a couple other bits of kit that help with this setup. One is a remote shutter release. So if you, if you move the camera a little bit between frames, you have to do a lot more work later on in software to align all the images. So one way to avoid that problem is to not touch your camera at all and just you know take a picture and move this down a bit, take another picture, like this, and eventually you can collect a whole stack pretty quickly that way. Also, you want to make sure your camera is set on manual so it doesn't change the exposure on you as you're going up and down this way. Here's some other images that I collected using the same method. One of the problems is that you actually can't get far enough away from the object. So I bought a, a very low power microscope objective, a 2x objective, and even that's actually too much magnification for a lot of subjects. Another really interesting thing that I just read about was a, the use of a liquid lens to collect focus stacked images in real time, in video. So I've got some other videos about liquid lenses, and their main feature is that you can change focal length very quickly, like potentially uh, tens or hundreds or even thousands of times a second. And if you put that in front of your camera, you can take pictures at different focal depths many, many times faster than your video frame rate. And if you've got a high speed camera, you can do all the focus stacking all at the same time and then end up with video images that have been focus stacked which have sort of a um, unnaturally high depth of field. And I'll put a link to the uh, that video in the description too. Okay, see you next time. Bye.